It feels a lot better to uh, be here and uh, having won it than it was to uh, be runners up. And I think that's pretty obviously obvious feelings. But uh, I'm certainly proud of uh, the efforts of these guys. Um, the one, not just the ones you see up in front here, but uh, you know the whole team. Um, I really feel like that probably midway through the season, there have been a lot of people that uh, said, well, they're going to be in the hunt, but they're probably not truly the national championship team. Um, and these guys uh, continue to work. Um, you know, uh, we built our team a little bit differently uh, than we have been in the past. And uh, today, uh, it couldn't have worked out any better. And uh, really, uh, just a, a great effort by the, the coaching staff and the players. Uh, whether it's NAI football or NCAA, I can't imagine a, a, a more worthy opponent and a team that deserved to win uh, as Sioux Falls did today. Well, this was uh, by far um, the best two weeks of preparation I thought we have ever had uh, in all phases. Um, I think we've, we've uh, really, we have a team right now that this year that was built on just fundamentals, a great defense, a, a, an offensive line that's going to try to control the line of scrimmage. Um, you didn't see anything flashy out there today when it came to, uh, you know, our phases of the game other than, you know, a block punt scheme and, uh, you know, throw it downfield and try to take some shots down the sideline. Um, you know, we just really tried to let our guys play football and uh, tr try to be, uh, you know, we felt like we have great players and we just try to let them do what they do. And so, uh, <clears throat> you know, um, you're never 100% confident um, because you know you're playing a great team in Carroll. And we've got a ton of respect for them. But, uh, you know, we just felt good about the nature of our ball team. And, um, you know, uh, you know we've, we knew they would just be able to slow the run game down a little bit, but we just felt like we were good enough to still establish it. And, uh, you know, we tried to f let Zoe pretty much carry the load on that. Um, and that was part of the game plan, whether it was going to be raining or, or uh, sunshine. Well, it was, a, it was a pretty good defensive game up to that point. You know, we gave up the block punt and uh, they did a great job on their pressure there. But other than that, uh, our defense, I thought, had bowed our necks a couple times. Uh, really, they had field position pretty much the first half. They'd gotten a couple first downs. But we'd stopped her. They missed a couple field goal attempts, but we were just always seemed to be back up at our end of the field, and we just didn't ever get a chance to get out and pin them down on their side. So I said, you know what? We're getting the ball in the second half. It, it seemed like towards the end of the second quarter, the holes were opened up. John Camino was running hard and was able to break out off of that off-tackle play. And it was just a couple times before we just a step away from breaking for a 20, 30-yarder. And we just felt if we could take the opening drive and get field position back or, you know, hopefully even get a score. Uh, you get a score whether it's a field goal or a touchdown, it's just a one one score game. I got on the bus uh, and I, you know, I intentionally got on <clears throat> the offensive bus here today and this morning, and I talked to them on the way here about, uh, you know, it's raining, and uh, I didn't know what type of feelings they had uh, because I knew that uh, you know it obviously affects the offense and how you control the football and things like that. But I said, hey, this is what we were made to do is play in a game like this with a great defense. You know, and uh, an offense that can control it um, and uh, put some first downs together, try to utilize field position, and today not turn it over. We threw, threw the ball a heck of a lot better this year than we did last year. Uh, you know, we, we, we just didn't have time at times. They had, I think, four or five sacks. Their pressure was great, especially in that fourth quarter. But there were times, you know, the field conditions, the, the worst thing it, it was the snap. It just seemed like we had trouble with the, with the center quarterback exchange on the shotgun, and I know they had a bad snap on one of their punts in the second half. That's always the worst part. Uh, that really wasn't as cold as we experienced a year ago, but the biggest thing is, is always handling that, that quarterback exchange, and I think that's what hurt us a little bit. And uh, I, you know, I decided to rein it in a little bit, and we dropped a couple shotgun snaps. We had a couple over our heads, and so I said, let's get back under center. I know sometimes that's not conducive, as Matt said, to getting back there and seeing the coverage, but it was better than taking a five, six yard loss. Uh, it just seemed I looked around uh, our, even our coaching staff today and, and there's still quite a few of us that had a chance to play together for our national championship and uh, that was 12 years ago. And you know we won one, I think we were just really excited in 2006 about uh, winning a national championship and finally doing it again. And today it just seemed like, you know what, our guys have had an unbelievable experience. And I think we just kind of, Pulled ourselves back and let our guys totally enjoy this. But when we get back to Sioux Falls, um, you know that pride uh, is huge, and um, you know our school uh, supports our football program uh, uh, as much as I could even hope for. And uh, 
uh, it's just uh, it's a great feeling, and uh, it kind of sets up. Uh, I think what we what we have going on to next year, you know, the momentum just continues to build, and uh, you know, I think even though we lost last year in the national championship, um, you know, going back to back was huge. Now, you know, winning it again puts us kind of right up there where uh, our guys want to go back and do it again. It's too great of an experience, and it's something they'll remember forever.